Hello, this is Wendy Moore from DIY Social Media for Business.com. And today I wanted to show you the activity log on your Facebook timeline. So immediately below your cover image, you'll see the words activity log. And it's via the activity log that you can best view the history on your Facebook timeline. The activity log is where you can see every single entry on your Facebook profile. So it really is the best place to edit your timeline. So let's go have a look. So I'll click on the activity log button and you get a behind the scenes look at everything that has gone on on your timeline. So towards the top there you can see posts and information to review. So if somebody has uh, checked you into somewhere and you don't have that setting turned on, you have the option to then uh, approve or ignore them checking you into somewhere. Uh, likewise, if somebody says that they've worked together with you or that you're in a relationship with them, it's in this top section that it will show what they're saying has taken place and you can go and review it and either approve it or ignore it. So if I hover my mouse on the right hand side you can see it says ignore against the cross or approve against the tick. So let's scroll down and you can see that it's showing every single month for 2011 and if I scroll all the way to the bottom you can see the entries there for 2010, 2009 and all the way back to 2008. So let's just scroll up and take a closer look at the information that is appearing here on your activity log. So today you can see that um, I changed my profile picture a number of times when I was recording some videos and against the items on the right hand side you'll see um, variations of um, circles, circles with lines through them, you'll see some uh, people down here for tags of friends and so forth so by hovering your mouse next to each of these items you can see the options that show up so against this photo it has a circle with a, cross, a line through it and this is currently hidden from my timeline which means that I've deleted it from my timeline if I click on this circle with this line through it it gives me the option to add it back to my timeline and even to feature it on my timeline so that's what you can do with images on your activity log. Going down there's a, a post that I was uh, tagged in so the circle shows that it's allowed on my timeline. If I click the circle I can hide it from my timeline, I can feature it on my timeline which means it will run across both of the columns on my timeline but I can also change the date. So this can be an important feature if you have entries on your timeline which may not match a date. So for example they may be um, not be an accurate date for an anniversary, perhaps when you got a degree, um, for other changes in your life. The date that was posted in Facebook may not be the accurate date and this is where you go into your activity log and against the entries you can change the date when they occurred. The other little symbol you can see there is uh, two people. So this shows that the tags are on my profile with friends. So if I click on that and start saying who can see tags on your profile, it's showing friends, and who can see this post, um, the person that posted and friends of anyone else that was tagged because this post you can see had quite a number of people tagged in here. So we scroll down and have a look at some activities from yesterday. So you can see it's going by um, time and date. And here's one for a birthday and the circle means it's allowed on my timeline and the little cogs show that it's a custom setting and when I click on the cogs it says who else can see this wall post it's custom now the reason it's custom is because it's on somebody else's wall and I can't control the settings or the security settings on somebody else's wall so that's why that's custom now looking down further here under um, this this post here has a picture of a globe and that shows that it's a public post so when I've posted this one to my timeline I made it public versus just to friends and it's showing publicly to anybody that's subscribed to my timeline they can see this particular post on my timeline so if I want to change that security setting you can see here that I can make it only friends would see it that only I 
might see it or I can otherwise customise it to include or exclude certain people. And below this line here, close friends, Melbourne and CEO lists, you can set up lists in Facebook and I do cover that in another video so I can share this just with my close friends who, who I've nominated on Facebook are close friends. Um, Facebook says Melbourne as a default because it knows I'm in Melbourne so that's going to likely be the city where you've said you are and then see your lists would show all the lists of all the people that I currently have on my Facebook timeline. Let's scroll down a little further. You can see here that I went through and I added a number of people as my friends. So they're allowed on the timeline by the little circle. But interestingly, if I click it, I can feature a friend connection on my timeline as well. I can also hide these from the timeline if I don't want to, um, people to see that I'm, I'm friending people. So feature, they're, they're currently allowed or hidden or even here in your activity log you can unfriend somebody so there's a number of different ways to friend and unfriend people this is a way that you can unfriend people through your activity log I'll just click on more activity and you'll see more history of things that have gone on on my Facebook timeline over the last few days and likewise you can see here that there's um, different circles for allowing or not allowing on my timeline there's custom there's public there's sharing with my friends. So it really is quite an interesting um, layout of your history and as, as you can see it goes all the way back to way way back to when you first started using Facebook. So do take a little bit of time to have a look at what is displayed on your timeline. Uh, check out the, the, the posts that you have there because some of them you may not wish people to see anymore. You might have some that were just shared with friends that you may like to now make more open to the public. You can see here when I hover on these circles, this is a comment that I made on someone else's status and I can hit here on the activity log, click this circle and I can delete the comment. So I don't even have to go back to that person's wall to delete the comment. I can do it all through my activity log here. So if you've got any entries where the dates are incorrect, you can go back and, and change those. If you've got photos of special events that haven't yet been loaded up, you can load those up as well. So just looking at this post here, you can see that when I hover it says allowed on timeline and it gives me even further options when I click. So I can feature it or I can hide it from my timeline. I can delete this post. This is a really cool uh, Christmas Easter egg that Google have put um, out for Christmas. I can add a location, I can uh, change the date or I can report or mark it as spam. So if I click on add location, Facebook asks me what, what is the location for this story. So I can type in there where something took place. So I'll just cancel that because we're not going to do that and likewise um, I can change the date. So it's currently sitting in December 2011 so I can move it up or down and there you can see I can even add a day. So a specific date will just be a month or a, um, a year. I'll just cancel that because we're not going to do that. So there you go, that's the Facebook activity log. Take a little bit of time to have a look at what's been posted there and what kind of settings you would like to have and how you would like to share your information because this really is um, your entire history of being on Facebook so you want to showcase it as best as you can. If you do have any questions about the activity log or the Facebook timeline you can drop those to us via the contact page on the blog wendymore.net and I am Wendy Moore and thanks for watching.